All right, friends, it is that time. We have another print here to crack open, and this could be part of the 2023 Metal Print Shootout. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, let me get you up to speed as far as what you are going to be seeing here momentarily. Now, uh, well, as you can see, I'm gonna crack this thing open. In a moment, you're gonna see a metal print. I'm gonna share with you everything I like about the, the packaging the print, the frame, the colors, literally A to Z about this frame or about this print that's in here. You may agree, you may not, but ultimately at the end of the day, if you decide to go out there and buy a print from Sal Digital, you're gonna have a good idea as far as what your dollar's going to get you. Now, this particular uh, print is part of the 2023 print shootout, so there's another added layer bonus with this. While all of our print shootouts have a, or I'm sorry, while all of our reviews have a scorecard at the end, this scorecard is a little bit more important because it, it's gonna be part of, obviously, at the end of the, the season, we're going to crown a winner. So we're going to identify which metal print was our pick for the year. Without further ado, uh, let's dive into it. So we can see, all right, so this is, without whacking the, the mic so we can see this cardboard is kind of like flayed swim sandwich on top of the print. And I'm gonna grab this, <clears throat> put that right there. So the box, <clears throat> really not much fanfare curve appeal with this. It's a very basic box. Uh, frankly speaking, I'd like to see a little bit more to the packaging itself there, but we can see what they've done here, which is actually pretty cool. So we have we have a piece of cardboard on the back. It seems pretty, while it's thin, I guess we can't judge a book by its cover because it's really dense cardboard. Uh, and then we have a piece on the top of this here and it's being held together. As you can see, this is kind of sandwiched in there and they have these heavy duty vinyl straps holding that all together. So we're gonna cut these straps right here. <clears throat> and a little sticker here showing kind of the confirmation of the, the print and you know just validating what was ordered. All right. So we're going to pull this. Oh, I see what they've done. Okay. So it's not two pieces, it's, it's essentially one piece. It's just kind of folded over. It's actually pretty cool. And obviously the back is where the frame is hanging out itself. Now on the front here, we have a little bit more foam and boom. Okay, you know what the thing, I have to go back. I think I might've accidentally ordered a matte finish here. This is actually meant to be glossy. And so, um, but anyway, all the same, we're gonna treat it as the same as well. And so this is a stock image, not something that I took. The whole premise behind this here is with the, the solids right here, we're going to, uh, this photo was selected because with the solids, if a printer uh, head is not calibrated uh, properly or is dirty or has any sort of walkiness, you're gonna see banding or just artifacts in these solid colors. So. One of the first things that I'm going to be doing here <clears throat> is looking for such wonkiness. Um, and also one of the things that we pers or specifically selected this image is if you look at all these lines right here, these create kind of interest points where we can kind of evaluate how sharp a image is. And of course, there's a lot of colors taking place here, which of course, not to be kept in obvious, helps us determine uh, the you know, how close a company or a print company is able to get to the original file itself. So that's what I'm looking at right now is I'm kind of soaking in these large areas out here, these lines right through here. And of course, the colors, everything looks pretty... Pretty darn good. We have a little, little smudge up in the top left-hand corner. And now, of course, what I'm going to be doing is rubbing my fingers around 
the edge of the print itself. I wouldn't advise this, and the because some of these prints can be super sharp. We've had prints where I keep saying over and over again, it was almost like a like a saw blade, and so uh, this is. It's not as smooth as some, but it is it is not bad at all. Now flipping it over, we can see a relatively simple frame, but does the job. Uh, actually, the framework on this is that. I'm trying to understand how. I need a little bit more light here. Hold on. I'm trying to see if that is. Oh, interesting. I'm trying to see how these how these are actually attached here. I don't see any hex screws or any screws in there. I'm trying to understand the tool that they may have used to, to get them. Interesting, I like. Now one thing I will point out here is if you look at, and I say this over and over again, one of the things I really admire with a metal frame, uh, there's some crud hanging out here. Uh, one of the things I really admire when you see these metal frames, unlike wood frames that are, if your jig is off and so forth, um, metal frame is not as forgiving. And so this is really fantastic. Now, one thing I do need to point out here or check is see how plumb that frame is. Okay, so uh, three, it's... Okay, let's do this. Wow, that is that is almost perfectly centered, which is really, really fantastic. Uh, and going back to the corners here, the edges are almost perfectly mitered. Now we do have a bunch of uh, a bunch of. bunch of you know, kind of gunk up underneath here which is really quite minor but it, it looks you know it reminds me it looks like a you know, cookie like it like my kid ate uh, a cookie and the crumbs ended up underneath there this is important because again we're talking about at the end of the day the curb appeal because some of you may be shipping uh, something like this to a client so when a client opens a print up the first impression of that print is representation of you as a professional. And so I like this white background on this here. This is really nice. It looks very clean. Now the one thing that I don't see here, which I like to see on metal prints, I like to see the little rubber knobs on the back or you know felt or something on there. Um, and there was no, no uh, mounting hardware that came along with this as well. Let me check. No, and again, we're talking about the chocolate on a bed at a turndown service at a, at a hotel. Little things like that, whether it's a simple screw or a little cleat, uh, really goes a long, long way with consumers and so forth. Alrighty, let's shift gears and take a look at the scorecard for Sale Digital. Friends, there you go, another metal print shootout for the 2023 metal print shootout. Now, if this is your first video that you've watched, again, what I will do is I'll put links down below where you can see some of the other prints that we have reviewed so far this season. Now, as a reminder, as we move through these metal prints, ultimately, we're gonna to come to the final video where we're going to crown the winner itself. Then ultimately, what I will do is I'll go through each one of these videos and add that video in there. So depending upon what time of the year this is, you could probably even scroll down and see who ultimately won the 2023 metal print shootout, but it's not quite that time yet at the time of recording, which is October 
forth. So you still have a little ways. But anyway, friends, that is all that I have here for you. Thank you very much for swinging on by. You found some value. Enjoy this video. Do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. We sure, certainly do appreciate it. And it helps the channel out quite a bit. That said, well, friends, I'm going to be turning off the camera. So you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.